but I think we need to talk about it as well because I don't know if you guys are aware. But little, just a tiny little uh, series is coming back, rumoured to anyway, with a certain Marvel director behind it. Ryan oh. Coogler, developing a diverse X-Files. Yeah, man. So. <laughs> We've already got one. Well, the story, well, well, look, at the end of it, so here, here's the thing, right? So the series creator, uh, Chris Carter, teased during conversation on uh, on on the coast with Gloria Makarenko. So it's like a, a show, basically. Uh, and said, I just spoke to a young man, Ryan Coogler, who's going to remount the X-Files with a diverse cast. So he's got his work cut out for him because we covered so much territory. Right. Just to throw it out there, right? Just to throw it out there, guys. The, the X-Files was already diverse, right? Every I single episode so. was every single episode was diverse. There were there were heads of departments that were black. So very, very, you know, forward thinking, because apparently everyone's male female team. Short. Yeah, one of the leads was a strong woman, but done properly, actually strong. Loads of people have this weird, bizarre short-term memory loss. They think that, you know, just revisionist history, it's nonsense. Director de- Deputy Director Kirsch. The deputy director of the head of the FBI in charge of Skinner, the bold white guy, was black. Yeah. Right? Mm. We, we seem to have this nonsense memory lapse. And it seems to happen because we just get bombarded by this crap and, and people are just led to believe it and no one talks out against it. We already had diverse X-Files. The fact that they're selling it already on... Well, it's a diverse cast, right? Not... Check this out, right? If Chris Carter had said... So I'm talking to a young man, an absolute wordsmith, a sci-fi genius. He's going to be covering elements that territory that we tried to cover, but he's going to be covering, you know, the peripheral of that territory and expanding it to leagues beyond I could possibly have imagined. He's going to be rebooting the X-Files. But that's more compelling than diverse cast. Speaking of Ryan Coogler, he's making the X Files with a diverse cast. I mean, which which gets you? I'll go you one even better if you were actually bringing back the original cast. Oh, uh, maybe well, I mean, but, these guys aren't let, that old. No, sure, but let's just compare them as is, right? Wh- which is a pitch that gets you more excited: diverse cast or speaking about the story elements, the creative elements, the stuff that is actually engaging to people. You know, well, those things first, here, very yeah. clearly. Yeah, of course it's first. You know, but of course you... they got to replace the redhead, Nate. They got to do that. Oh, of course, yeah. With a yeah, well, you know, April O'Neil, basically, isn't it? <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> this is well, going to be every, every... yeah. The uh, ginger side is is very All real. Over in, again. Uh, no, no, I hear you. It, like, in fact, like X Files, the idea of it lends itself to really excellent sci-fi storytelling. Um, oh, it was say. a huge hit. I mean, wh- right. who gives a crap about the diversity factor in this? There's freaking the aliens anyway. and ghosts. It's pretty diverse. <laughs> I, I never heard anybody complaining about the lack of diversity from the show ever. <laughs> no, but that's because it was diverse. That's the point. It was diverse. You, you even had in the later seasons, you had Monica Reyes, the Mexican, Latina. Yeah. Spicy Latina representation. Yep. Yeah, so, so I literally just pulled up X Files cast. It is filled with Everyone. women, men of different colors, ethnicities, Asians. Uh, I mean, it's it's completely diverse. I I don't know what it's just the the time that we're living in today. Like, uh, we're gonna be doing a new show with a diverse cast. Like, like the last you know iteration of the show wasn't diverse enough or some weird shit like that. <clears throat> Well, look, this is the thing, is it? They they love to bring back a show. They love to dupe everyone into thinking that, you know, they're going to make it better. How are they going to make it better, ladies and gents? Well, they're going to tell you that it's going to be diverse now and have you believe, short-term memory loss, that the previous one wasn't diverse because that's what they sell it on. And this is the thing, right? Like, n- no one cares what the color of the skin. Like, that is, some people do, but they're idiots. And they're not consumers. They don't watch this stuff. 
Some people care, but again, they're idiots. No one with half a brain cell cares about this stuff, about diversity and things, because they're not interested in that, because that doesn't indicate... It's not indi- Just because you have a diverse cast, it's not indicative of compelling storylines and narratives. If Chris Carter, the creator, had come out and said, look, honestly, we covered so much on the X-Files, and you know what? Yeah, the last few seasons, they were a bit of a joke and they were a bit campy. But Ryan Coogler, he's absolutely blown me away with his pitch. I genuinely think that this guy has nailed the core fundamentals of what the fan base love about X-Files. That sci-fi, the mystery, you know, you know how we were kind of ahead of our time. We had vaccines, you know, created by governments and stuff like that. And for aliens, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, he's on the button. He, I, he, I wish he was there when we created the original. If he'd come out and said stuff like that, I'd be like, great. That's na- you're talking about creative elements. That's going to get me excited, you know. Because and that's the average person. The average person is going to go, yeah, okay, cool. That's exciting. I mean, I'd actually get more exciting if they said it was X Men or X Men. Jesus, X <laughs> X Files. I mean, I think right, like because at this point, like I said, outside of True. Scully and Mulder, I don't care about X Files. I don't want a new True. one. Like, True. you want to do something in the same vein? Cool. Yeah, Show me yeah, what yeah. you got. No, true. Yeah, you're you're completely right. I, I guess like I'm just looking at it from the perspective of well, you know, the lesser of two evils here. What what in this scenario would actually get right. excited? No, like, absolutely. And and at the same time, though, we also got to look at it as what few shows and rebo- reboots have had you know any success are the ones that really pay homage to and make sure that the original you know characters are given proper treatment. Mm. Cobra Kai, for instance. I wasn't yeah. a big fan of the Connors after they got rid of Roseanne, but before that, Same. I didn't think it was that bad. So it was pretty good. I thought it looked at both sides of the aisle pretty well. So it, you had some other ones. People are really looking forward to the Frasier reboot. Like where, yes. yeah, where is the brain on this going? Um, why are we not just, you know, picking up 20 years later with more? why why haven't they progressed so far up the FBI ranks that now he's dead? You know, Mulder is, or, 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 or Scully, they're the deputy directors. They, they've they've got their own department within the X Files that they lead, I keep and then they send other people purpose, out. Sorry, that that would actually you know make I mean? sense. And they yeah. don't do things that make sense. That's right. <laughs> Very true. So yeah, I mean it's going to be poo. Obviously, we 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 know that it's highly unlikely that's going to be good. Um, so yay for for that. I guess. Yeah, without David Duchovny or uh, Julian Anderson, uh, you can count me out, especially yeah. with that diversity comment. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, it just goes to show where their brains are. Oh, it's uh, a diverse cast. Not, oh, it's creative and it's great and the narrative's great and the storylines are amazing. The pitch well, is awesome. Just diverse look at cast. what happened to Quantum Leap. Even though it's getting a second season, oh, it's only getting God. a second season because they got nothing else. Oh. Um, True. Culture, I mean, that you want to receive very well either. Uh, um, no, I, I've never been more let down by a piece of news. I'm like, oh, cool. XO. Oh, no, uh, sorry. It, it, it just bums me out. I mean, the first several seasons were really great and I really enjoyed them. And, and to have I enjoyed them the films too. Eh, the films are really good. The t- yeah. yeah. I really like the films. Okay. But I just, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's it, it, the, the, the V files, maybe. I don't know what's going to happen with it, but with Ryan Coogler, you know files. He, 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 this guy is like, hi. it's so frustrating. The XY files. No, actually, it's the XX files. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be the XX files. No. That's what I don't Yeah, I love it. I want the triple X files. No, no, no. You that, That's too many chromosomes, Tom. <sighs> yeah, but that's um, the right kind. Uh, Justin B says, I cover X files on my channel and I don't want this. I, Mate, I don't think anyone wants this. Let's no, and, and, and Justin, I feel for you, man. I I, I, I I unsubscribe from this before it even hits the media cycle. So, And it's yeah, not really that's... official yet. I mean, it's been out there in a couple of rumor places, but I don't think it's been talked about widely, has it, Nate? No. Yeah. No, it's not. This is it, That dropped a few hours before I had covered it. Wow. But then it's been, it's been talked about a week during the... Uh, I don't, it's pretty new, but no one else has really sort of covered it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. I mean, fresh, you know, fresh off the blocks. Yeah, I'm here, guys. I'm quick on it now. These you days. are, dude. You're pumping out the videos.